Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to 88 Mile Per Hour Adventures and another episode of Cruise News. My name is James, and in today's episode, a man has gone overboard on a Norwegian cruise ship. I'll give you the updates on that one. Uh, Disney reveals some of the details of their new island, a Lookout K at Lighthouse Point. I'll give you all the details on that one. And a new Norwegian cruise ship has been announced and named. All of these stories are in this week's episode of Cruise News. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the video. I'm going to go ahead and get right on into the first news story, and that is details on Disney's new uh, private escape that they have near the Bahamas. This is called Lookout K at Lighthouse Point. It's Disney's new kind of private island area. Um, this, like I said, this will be in the Bahamas, which is pretty much where most of the you know cruise lines, private islands, just so happen to be. Um, it is going to, Disney said it's going to mix Disney, kind of the Disney magic, uh, with a mixture of the culture of the Bahamas. They want to incorporate some of the culture, local culture of the Bahamas with it as well. Um, the entry point when you first get there is going to be a place called, um, uh, Marika Cove, I believe is what it was, Marika Cove. Um, and then there will also be other areas. They have the Goombe Cultural Center. Now, this will include traditional singing and dancing when you first kind of go in there. You know, like I said, trying to have that local Bahamas culture involved in that. Um, they will also have a place called Triton's Trumpet Stage where they will be playing live music and other kind of events that will go on. That will also be a part of it. Uh, there is going to be a kids like themed play area, water area, kind of themed off the Little Mermaid. Um, it will include two slides, uh, wave making fountains. I, I, I'm not sure what a wave making fountain is. I don't know if it's kind of like... A, if you've seen the new Moana uh, uh, water place at uh, Epcot, it might kind of be like that. Um, and then nearby there will be a volleyball court and a grill uh, to get, you know, lunch and all that good stuff. Um, and then if for adults that want to get away from their children, that you just kind of want to, you know, have a moment free from the kids, uh, there is going to be a Serenity Bay that is an 18 and up uh, only venue. It's just a beach area where you can kind of relax there on the beach. They will have a uh, grill there, restaurant, and then they will have cabanas that will obviously be an extra charge. So yeah, that's going to be part of the new uh, Disney's Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. Uh, and that will be coming soon if you happen to uh, be cruising off Disney Cruise Line. All right, in other cruise news from Norwegian, they did announce a brand new ship that is going to be coming. They announced the name of it. Uh, this is going to be coming in 2025, the Norwegian Aqua is going to be coming to Norwegian. This is the third in what they call the, the Prima class uh, of the of ships they have. This one will join the Prima, a part of the Prima class, and the uh, Viva as part of the uh, three that, in, that are in part of the Prima class on Norwegian. Um, and they said it will have some expanded outdoor spaces, so kind of, you know, more room to relax out on the deck. Um, and there will be a uh, bigger part of the staterooms will be a little bit bigger and a bigger variety. There will be more options as far as the staterooms you can get. Uh, it will also have what they say is Norwegian's first aqua slide coaster. Uh, it said it's the first hybrid roller coaster and water slide. Um, and part of that is it's got two dueling tracks and is a two-person ride. So I guess you can, you know, go against two other people on, the, on a different track. That's all part of the... Uh, the hybrid aqua slide. Um, it will also have what they call the glow court. Uh, that's going to be a sport game experience with an LED kind of floor, almost like a disco type of floor, you know, with that LED lighting. And then at night it does turn into a nightclub, which well, they will obviously use that lighting for that as well. Um, it will also have what they call the drop, which is going to be a 10 story dry slide. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much some of the amenities. They also announced there's going to be some, like I said, the bigger staterooms, stuff like that. I'm sure there'll be some other stuff they come announce uh, a little bit later on. The first cruise for this one is available if you want to book it. It is going to be coming out of Port Canaveral, at least for the time being. Uh, and that will be in April of 2025. I believe the inaugural cruise is a, a seven-day Caribbean cruise. So if you want to check out the uh, new Norwegian ship, the uh, Norwegian Aqua, that will be available in 2025. And you can go ahead and book that as of this video. All right. And our final news story is definitely not a, a nice one. A uh, man has gone overboard on a cruise ship. Seems to be happening more and more lately, you know, as I kind of report these stories. Uh, this happened on the Norwegian Pearl. Apparently he went overboard on 
November 3rd. Uh, this was during the Lamb of God Headbangers Boat Charter Cruise. You know, one of those specialized cruises that you can you, know, you can go on there themed. This one was themed off of the, uh, like, you know, heavy metal music, uh, including the group Lamb of God. Uh, man went overboard. Uh, this was near the Bahamas. Apparently they were making their way from the Bahamas or back to Miami. Not sure if they stopped in the Bahamas, but it was close to the Bahamas. They were heading back to Miami uh, at the end of the cruise when I guess the call went out that a man had gone overboard. Uh, guests reported that this was about 3.30 in the morning that the ship turned around um, and then proceeded to do a, a search and rescue. Uh, they did that for about nine hours. And after that nine hour time period, they, they went ahead and called it quits, at least for the cruise ship portion. I'm sure the Coast Guard was still involved in it. Um, but the cruise ship then, you know, alerted guests that it was going to be heading back uh, to Miami. Uh, so not looking too good. It was a 41-year-old that uh, had gone overboard. It didn't have a name. Um, but, you know, stranger things have happened. But uh, as of as of me recording this, uh, the person still hadn't been found. Um, so, yeah, that's that happened, like I said, on the Norwegian Pearl. The ship has actually come back. Uh, to Miami, so it is docked, but I believe that still might be Coast Guard might be searching. But at this this you know kind of late hour, it's, it's I think it's less and less likely they'll be able to find him. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for another episode of Cruise News. If you're not subscribed to the channel, let me go ahead and invite you to subscribe. I post cruise news, theme park news, and vlog all of our adventures on the channel. Uh, so if you're interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this week's news stories. And as always, everybody, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.